Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Insane Ian Eats Candy on the Internet. My name is Insane Ian. Uh, this is Waffles, uh, new kitten, and he decided to stay on the couch, so that's where he is when I'm filming this. This week, we've got more candy for me to shove into my fat head, because that's a thing that I do on the Internet. Am I talking too loud for you, little kitten? Cats are adorable. Cats are on the internet. There's a cat. I don't know if you can see him real well. He's not totally in frame, but he's totally staring because I've disturbed his nap. But anyway, we're trying some new flavors of some popular candies as well as a couple of things that I've never tried before, uh, such as cookies and cream Twix, which I'm excited about. Something called a Cadbury Crunchy which I've never heard of. Another thing I've never heard of, the Prince Polo Dark Chocolate Confection. And of course, it wouldn't be Insane Ian Taste Tests without a new thing of Kit Kats. I've been looking for these forever and I finally found them when I was in St. Louis. And then naturally when I got back home, they had them here. But uh, the brand new Kit Kat Duos. I'm excited. Obviously, Kit Kats are going to be last because I like the Kit Kats. Kit Kat, you're a Kit Kat. Actually, his name is Waffles, not Kit Kat, but Waffles and Wafers and Cats and shut up. It works in my head. Let's go with the Prince Polo first. Now, uh, I had mentioned to my friend Matt, who had provided some snacks in a previous episode two seasons ago, we had a snack from Matt's pantry. It's that Matt. Hi, Matt. You know, he heard that I like wafer candies like the uh, the Kit Kats, and so he gave me this Prince Polo Classic Dark Chocolate Confection. It's basically dark chocolate and a cookie wafer. So we're gonna eat it, because that's what one does with candy. At least that's what I do. Waffles is very interested in seeing what I'm doing, but not interested enough to sit up. He's learning all the laziness from the other cat, Abby. It's amazing. Very strong dark chocolate smell. So it, it smells like dark chocolate. It smells like that that kind of stronger chocolate. And it like you can see the wafer. You can you can just see the wafer through the chocolate. Whatever. I'm gonna eat it. That's a lot of wafer. Holy crap. Yeah, somebody's standing up now. I'm not exactly sure what the white stuff on the top of the wafer is. I think it's just wafer. It's not bad. It's a little heavy on the wafer. I'm actually not getting that much chocolate through it. I mean, I'm tasting chocolate, obviously, and it is dark chocolate, but there's not as much of it versus how much there is of the wafer. It's not bad. Wouldn't be my first choice, though, but that's enjoyable. Now we're moving on to the Cadbury Crunchy. Now, when I bought the Kit Kats, they had this sitting on the rack, too, and I'd never heard of it before. It's golden honeycomb wrapped in Cadbury chocolate. I get down with that. That sounds good. That sounds tasty. Now here's a funny thing that I will admit. I bought it in December. I bought it last month when I was in St. Louis for the holidays. My girlfriend's family lives there. And uh, the best before date on here is November 9th. And I bought it in December. And it's now January. It's candy. I'll be fine. But still, it's very odd. It was expired when I bought it. Or it was past the date when I bought it. Whatever. Golden honeycomb wrapped in Cadbury chocolate. Let's let's dig into this. It's a very crinkly wrapper. That looks like a turd. As most candy bars do, honestly. I mean, who are we fooling? They look like turds. Especially Baby Ruth. That's why you throw them into swimming pools. But anyway, enough about bad habits. We're gonna eat this thing. Whoa. Wow. First off, that's super crunchy. I mean, that's in the name crunchy, but I did not expect it to be quite as, as light and airy as it is. You bite into it, it shatters immediately, but it doesn't really stick to your teeth the way a Butterfinger does. Very, very much heavy on the honey taste. Honey flavor very much. I can't even words right now. Very much honey flavor through mouth. Much honey words with mouth. Ha! This is tasty. This is really, really good. I like this a lot. The chocolate is nice and smooth. The honey is very sweet. I probably wouldn't be able to finish the entire bar. I can usually wolf down candy bars pretty easy, and I shouldn't, and I definitely shouldn't with this one, because all my teeth will fall out of my damn head. Holy crap. It's really tasty, though. It just breaks so easy. It's really loud in my head. All the crunching and everything. But man, is it very good. Man, that's super tasty. wonder if the microphone's picking that up. If it is, I'm kind of sorry. 
kind of not. Next, we move on to one of my girlfriend's favorite candies, Twix. She loves these. I like Twix a lot. I used to uh, do speed eating of Twix in college. It's a weird thing. It's a, it's a dumb thing you do when you're in your 20s. To you see how fast you can eat an entire package of Twix, it's two, it's two cookie bars. And you just kind of cram them into your face as fast as you can, both of them, and see how fast you eat them. I used to do that. I wasn't a smart person. I still am not. But these are cookies and cream flavored, so we're gonna try it. Uh, it looks like the uh, the cream of the cookies and cream is replacing the caramel, which you know is whatever. But uh, I'm 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 interested in trying these. Cream with cookie bits, chocolate cookie bars, and milk chocolate. Oh, the the cookie on the inside is chocolate now. That's a little different than the the standard Twix as well. I'm gonna eat one and I'm gonna save one for the girlfriend because I'm a man who cares. And also, it seems polite. These seem smaller than a Twix usually is. It's not quite as, as big as the Twix usually is. I feel like Twixes are a little longer. I could shove this into my mouth without breaking it. That sounds wrong. Let's not take that out of context. Anyway, it doesn't taste that different from a Twix. I mean, it is a Twix. The cookie is a little different. It doesn't quite have the same kind of snap that a normal Twix has. It definitely is an Oreo consistency of a cookie. And obviously the cream is a very Oreo cream because that's what cookies and cream is. It's basically Oreo bits in a cookie or an ice cream. If you get cookies and cream ice cream, it's ice cream with Oreos. So cookies and cream is always kind of emulating the Oreo thing without using the Oreo name. That's what they're doing here. Strangely enough, they make Oreo candy bars that taste nothing like this. So make of that what you will. This is still pretty tasty. I like this a lot. If you can find these, they're, they're good. Again, not too different from an old Twix. They're just replaced the cookie with a chocolate cookie that's more Oreo-like and replaced the caramel with this cream substance. It's whatever. Last and certainly not least, the Kit Kat Duos. The Kit Kat Duos are mint and dark chocolate Kit Kats. Oh hells yes. I am all about this. That's it, mint and dark chocolate, crisp wafers and mint cream and dark chocolate. They're, they're, they're duos. They are multicolored bites of deliciousness. So I'm gonna open it and put it in my face. Oh, and they just, they just look nice. There's just something about the weird uniformity of Kit Kats, the four candy bars, lined up, snapped together, that you can break apart neat. Mint is always a neat color anyway. Mint green is kind of nice, I say in front of a green screen. But no, I I always like mint green, and if they do it, it just looks neat. But I'm going to break the internet and kill all of my OCD friends when I eat it this way. Oh man, that is so good. The mint is nice. Usually I don't like mint with ch dark chocolate that much, but it's it's a very mild dark chocolate. It's not as dark as a lot of other dark chocolates. I think the dark chocolate on the other wafer was darker in flavor, if that's a thing. But uh, this is this is just super delicious. This is awesome. If I see these again, I'm obviously buying them again because holy crap, it's a limited flavor. They've got a bunch of other limited flavors coming out. I heard like a lemon pie one, and uh, bring me all the Kit Kats, all of them. Ha, ah, my favorite. I stuffed my face for an hour. It's a little harder to talk. I think I did that last episode. I might have a Kit Kat problem. Whatever. I'm going to go into sugar shock now. But thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Also, I want to remind everybody about an album I am producing right now for Ninja Sex Party. It's a tribute album to Ninja Sex Party. You can see the details for it in the link below and also at the end of the video. Thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Man, my breath is chocolatey and fresh. Waffles! Oh, so sleepy. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh. you know I'ma eat it anyway.